we are on hole number seven of the Metro Open Tournament in the qualifying round. Let's go to Golf Class Notebook and see what we got for hole number seven. Make sure we're, we've got it in our minds. Now, what I'm doing on this is I was using an extra mile and a Titan. And I was going from here and doing maximum side spin, maximum curl, and getting the ball up. In the, and I've gotten this as close to where I was in my maximum rapier range. But this overpower down here is very touchy. You can over overpower it and end up in the rough, or you can under overpower it and end up short over here. So we switched on this to a four power ball so that we didn't have to do any overpower on our first shot. And I'm saving, I, I don't have to use my four power balls on hole nine Let's see what we have here. I think with this account, I'm not sure that I bought any of those four power balls. So we may be, I'm not really interested in using the ones that I have, so we may be just using a Titan and we'll do that overpower. So we've got a Guardian, an extra mile, hope. If we do this right, the only clubs we're going to need is an extra mile and a hornet and a rapier. Um, if we get in trouble, we've got a nirvana, so we've got the clubs that we need. So we're off to hole number seven. And here we go. Here we go. And I wasn't having to do a full overpowered shot. It was about maybe a third overpower, maybe a half. I don't, know, I don't even think it was a half. So we brought a Titan with us. And we're coming up into this area right here. So we're at max club right there. We've got a side spin. And we don't have to put quite all of the top spin on it. And we're curling it around. So. We're going to uh, give ourselves a little bit, give ourselves a little bit of leeway in case we hit a good, great shot to the to the right. We're going to do a two ring pull, and we're going to put on maximum side spin, and we're going to put on a little bit of overpower. And we hit it great to the right. And let's see if we gave ourselves enough room there. We were real close. Bam! Perfect. We're getting up into this area right here. I think that was the right way to go. So I'm going to make a note here. We are going to use an, a Titan. That'll save us a four power ball on our main rookie account. So our opponents brought a Kingmaker. They can get a little more curl, and a Kingmaker might work good here takes a little bit of the wind out and you can get more curl or side spin on the ball and the closer you can get to those trees up there the better off you're going to be so if we're in our hornet our hornet's one 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 nine two two and if we're in our rapier we're going to be max rapier so it's one nine i have a feeling we're probably going to be in our hornet range from where we're at so we are in our hornet and we are right at max our minimum hornet which is two two Let's see if we've got enough backspin to get it, get that look at the hole. And we do. The hole drops down a little here, so I'm not too concerned about being high on the hole. We're 2-2, two, two, so we're just a titch over a ring pool. And we absolutely have to hit this perfect in order to have any shot at this going in the hole. So we gave ourselves a shot here, and we're in the hole. That means we eagled all three of the par fours on this round, and we gave ourselves some real decent looks at Albatross. So on the par on the two par fives we played so far, so so far we're doing really good. We're hitting on all cylinders today. Hole number eight 
is going to be the deal breaker. It is a very tricky par three, the next hole that we're going to play. So we need to uh, secure a birdie on that hole. And I think we're going to be shooting a pretty good round here. All right. Good luck in the tournament. That was hole number seven of the Metro Open Tournament in the qualifying round. Thanks for watching.